Good morning, GMS. I'm Lily. And I'm Emma. Welcome to the GMS News Show for the week of November 30th. Welcome back, GMS students. We hope you had a happy and safe Thanksgiving break. We only have a few short weeks to work hard before we get to holiday break. Hang in there. A reminder, GMS students, the second night weeks ends on December 18th. Remember to get all your grades in line as the 2F rule applies to all winter and spring sports. The 2020 through 2021 GMS yearbooks are still on sale. Go to www.yearbookforever.com to order yours today. The price will be going up, so lock in these savings by ordering your yearbook today. If your family is in need of Christmas assistance, email or call our student advisor, Mrs. McGuire. Remember, if you're out of school for an extended amount of time, you will still find all your assignments on Canvas. You can also email your teacher with specific questions. Finally, make sure your face mask is over your mouth and nose. This includes in the hallways, in the classroom, and even in the bathroom. Also, make sure to socially distance and wear a face mask when you go to any sporting events. Now let's go to the interview of the week, top trending in a GMS sport update. Have a great week, everybody, and remember to stay safe. Welcome to the GMS News Show interview of the week. I am Kate Hankins, here with 8th grade language arts teacher, Ms. Garrison. How are you doing today? Good, thanks. How are you doing? Good. Would you like to start by telling us a little bit about yourself? I can. Um, this is my 13th year at Greenwood Middle School. I've always been a language arts teacher, but I started in seventh grade and then moved to eighth grade. Um, before that, I went to IU Bloomington. Um, and then before that, I um, am from a town called Newcastle, Indiana, which is about an hour away from here. Cool. Why I'm did you? My whole career. Oh. Why did you choose to become an eighth grade language arts teacher? Um, I've always really loved to read, even when I was really young. So that was one of the reasons. Um, but I've always enjoyed working with kids. I uh, taught gymnastics for a long time. I did gymnastics when I was younger. And so that kind of made me realize that I enjoy working with kids. Cool. When you're not teaching, what are, your, what are some of your favorite hobbies? Um, well, I mentioned reading. I've always loved to read. Um, I like spending time with my kids and my family. Um, I like to travel. I like to see new places and kind of experience other cultures. Um, I like to bake sometimes in my, in my free time. Uh, so those are a few. Interesting. Where were you born and raised? If it wasn't Indiana, what brought you to Indiana? Um, I was born in Indiana, a small town called Newcastle. Like I said, it's about an hour away from here. And I lived there my whole childhood and then went to Bloomington and then now Greenwood. Do you have any pets? If so, what do they mean to you? I do. I have a, a puppy named Gracie and she's seven months old and she is a sweetheart, but also kind of a wild child, we like to say. Um, but she loves to snuggle and um, I love to snuggle her and get hugs and um it's nice coming home to a little puppy that just loves to see you so much. Yeah. One of my favorite things when I get home is she just gets so excited to see people and she's a sweetheart. Nice. Thank you for coming on our new sh on our show today, Miss Garrison. Have a great week. Thank you too. <laughs> Welcome to Top Trending, where we share the top trending stories of the week. I am Brandon. Number three, a raccoon climbed up a skyscraper in St. Paul, Minnesota. This raccoon took everyone's attention while climbing 20 stories high. Animal welfare officials placed traps at top, and still this creature has not been captured. What would you do if you up and saw a raccoon climbing 20 stories above your head? You may want to cover your face. A person was spotted flying above Southern California using a jetpack again. It happened for the second time in six weeks last Wednesday. An unidentified person was seen hovering over the Angels International Airport with a jetpack. It isn't clear whether this is the same individual who was recently 
with the jetpack over the same airport. The jetpack was flying 6,000 feet in the air. A China Airlines crew member reported the sign on Wednesday afternoon about seven miles. For those of you with a jetpack, never consider flying in the air around airports. That's never a good idea. Number one. Beck died on November 8, 2020. He was the host of the game show Period Jeopardy. For 30 years, he began hosting Jeopardy 1984. He recorded about 6,829 episodes before passing due to stage 4 pancreatic cancer, which is the which is the deadliest type of cancer you can get. His episode will air on Christmas Day, which was filmed just two weeks short weeks before his death. He was able to make it to 80 years old, and he will never be gone. Welcome to GMS Sports, and I'm Elijah Martin. On Tuesday, 7th grade boys basketball versus Cinder Grove Central at home, starting at 5 p.m. 8th grade boys basketball versus Cinder Grove Central home, starting at 5 p.m. On Thursday, 7th grade boys basketball versus Plainfield Community Middle School at home. 8th grade boys basketball versus Plainfield Community Middle School away. That's all for GMS Sports.